Yeah, you can just feel the buzz of this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Bruins are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Moves it quickly over to... Oh, the save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. I love the way he gets to the top of his crease. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to fight and find the puck, and he does exactly that to make the save. Picked up along the boards by Kako. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Slides it diagonally to Pasternak. Here's a shot! Oh, I thought he was gonna be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. A chance in front! Shot! And the save! Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Well, the game is played at such fast rate that sometimes you want to slow your opponent down, but if you take too much ice, it's going to be an interference call. Guys, we know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a chance here, a real great opportunity to turn things around, so let's see what can happen. Taken by McAvoy. And that goes off course off a of body. Tries to get the puck over to Holden. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. Romanov's moving the puck through his own zone. Boston's gained possession. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Oh, he's so good. Unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Knight's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. I'm excited to see these players compete and keep their team the edge. Now back to you. Here's a short pass to Coyle, and he makes the save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Takes it to the front! Comes up with the stop! Power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. The Bruins get one quickly here and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. Puck grab by McAvoy. Quick pass to Tierney. James, I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. The Bears get a hold of the puck under man. Down the right side and into the zone. Quick feed to Bluger. Oh, what a stick save. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, and the D breathing a huge sigh of relief as it skips to the neutral zone. Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save. Moves it to Perry. Scores! And just like that, we are all tied up. A huge change of momentum with that short-handed goal, James. They went out there just to kill off the power play. Instead, they wind up getting the equalizer. 
James, I'm so impressed with the aggressive nature of this PK unit. I mean, you're down by a goal, you want to press, you attack appropriately, and then you get a shorty. That's a great job by the PK. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Marchands won the draw at center. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Well, with success earlier on the power play, they'll look to set up the overload again. No question about it if they win the face-off, James. It's all about puck movement along the wall, down low. You know that you're moving it. You're all on one side of the ice. But the key is that you've got to open up the lane quickly be able to move the puck to attack. And that's deflected off someone in front. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Marchand. Cuts to the front. Oh, what a slick stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Pasternak's got a great shot, guys, but we know the key to getting it off so accurately is when he's got the puck settled and flat on the ice. That's when he can really use that snipe zone ability to really pick a spot. Tremendous stop by Knight. He's going to play the puck outside of his crease here. Scooped up along the wall by Marchand. A chance in front! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Pulled inside of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Handles the puck. Works it across to Bluger. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Angles it over to Coyle. Denies him. He got all of it. St. Petersburg's penalty killers get a hold of it. Moves it quickly over to Bourdain. And that's intercepted by Coyle. Gaining momentum up along the side. Shot. Oh, stopped with the pad by Knight. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Mott. The Bears carry it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And that's deflected off someone in front. Cuckoo standing up, ready to go. Moves it over to Tierney. Across the line from center. Boston's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. The expectation when you're on a power play is to score a goal, not give up one, James. This is a tough one to take for this group. Now he takes it over the line. Swing and a miss. St. Petersburg's got the puck in their own end. The Bruins take over on possession. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Now over to Evans. Puck scooped up by Murray. The Bears played along the boards. Sets it out front. What shot. Came up with the save on that play. Can't keep a hold of it. Quick pass to Bean. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Routine save made by Omar. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Let's see what the officials are calling. I think this is a pretty easy call. I mean, you can't get in the way of someone without the puck and impede on their forward movement.
play, guys. He knows his zone ability can help them generate a good scoring chance. Let's see if they can strike. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. And that's poked away by Moore. Here they come on the attack. Quick shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Taken along the wall by Pasternak. And that's knocked away by Moore. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Marchand's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. And they'll start with possession. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corralled it, he lets it rip. But hockey's a game of inches, and that one just misses. And we play on. And that pass attempt is deflected. And here's the pass to Marchand. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Perry. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Reads the play and forces the turnover. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Romanov's got the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Belmar. Grabs the puck in the corner. Slick feed. Oh, what a save in front. Allmark's movements are outstanding. Here we go, two on one. Shoots, shot, block, wow. St. Petersburg's got it in their own zone. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Bruins fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync, almost as if they're on a pendulum or a string together, knowing exactly what the other is going to do and a reason they're still tied. He's got a step. Oh, the eyes him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Takes the pass. And now it's grabbed by Cole. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Moore. Here's a shot. Denies him. Aya follows, exploring options with the puck. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Luger is looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. Boyle's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. Takes the feed from the wing. Fires it on net. Takes that one right in the logo. Luger's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He was injured somewhere in the shift, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. More than half the frame has been played here. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Bruins win the draw. Dished on over to Pasternak. Quick feed to Carlo. Pokes it away in his own end. He looks deep to Perry. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Change up, change up. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. And he takes the feed. The Bruins played along the wing. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Moves it to Perry. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And it's a quick pass to Saka. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. From the open ice, they gain the line. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Lindholm. And that's off a stick. Picked up along the wall by Tierney. 
tries to the sweet spot. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Oh, look at the glove save by Olmark. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Well, Dan's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Offside the call. We'll get a reset. Here in the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Fredericks won the draw. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Now you got to toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period. Team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time, but look, be looking for those same openings. Marchand set the face off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Bruins take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he had the answer on that play. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic Everybody in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Long side still shorthanded here as they slide into the face off. The draw here in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it quickly over to Holden. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Slides it over to Holden. You gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Boston's got the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. St. Petersburg's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Handles the pass at center. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Romanov. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Cuts into the paint. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that... Trying to gain a step. All alone. What a save of the play. Oh, James, I thought he had it. He was out, and he could have faked and moved the tender, but he got it himself in a little too tight when he made it. And, man, what a nice save. Evans gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Coyle's got control of the puck in the corner. Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Boston's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Well, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can sit back and protect it. Coyle's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Puck picked up by McAvoy. And that's poked away. Quick pass to Belmar. The Bruins have it in the offensive end. And he takes the pass. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather 
And they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. assess this game through the first 20 minutes played. Boston's playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put Bucks on net, you're going to score goals. And he takes the dish. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. The Bruins continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. has got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency and attack. The Bears will play it against the wall. Way too much congestion blocks that. And a quick save on that one. Lots of time left in this period. It's 2-1. Sackers won a big draw on their own end. Picked up along the boards by Marchand. Nice zone entry on the left side. Fires it, and he's got that one. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Takes it to the net. Oh, that's Great goaltenders have an uncanny ability to get to a set position and be able to fight through a screen as he's able to make this save. Oh, Garth, he really got the pick in the year in the end zone. Omar's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play. He elects to hold on. And they win the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to Giordano. The puck over. Green heads up play with the stick by Cuckoo. From his own end, he picks up the puck. A chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Back to the point it goes. And puts off the club and will play on. Moves it to Kessel. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Gets it out of his own end. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Moves it quickly over to Giordano. Here they come on the attack. 
Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Cuckoo. Gets the puck over to Perry. Takes the shot. Oh, that's a huge stop by Omar. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Broken up by Cuckoo. Taken by Romanov. St. Petersburg's crossed the line and on the attack. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Knight. Boston's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Stahl's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Comes up with the block. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Knight. Now a quick pass to Chanel. Let's move to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Hartman. One on one with the goaltender. What a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Boston's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Allmark's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. And that's picked off by Marchand. Boston's got the puck. Shot! And that goes off a body. Quick pass over to Murray. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Directs it on over to McAvoy. And he slides it quickly to Zaka. Boston's on the attack. Poked away in the defensive end. Looks to make a play over to Moore. Puck picked up in the open ice. Sends a pass over. Fantastic save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Good hit on the play. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Makes a move in front, and he decides to backtrack on a good-looking opportunity. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Up along the wing. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Greer's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Frederick. And he's knocked off the puck there. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Cross ice pass to Holden. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Evans has it now. Moves it in front. Oh, and he fans on it. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Dismiss that chance. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Delayed penalty coming up here. And now he moves it quickly to Tierney. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The refs are calling a really tight game. And man, this has been a parade to the penalty box. And the entire bench looks agitated. And as a result, they keep taking more.
Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. And that one stopped. Allmark's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. Allmark's great at tracking the play, guys, especially when there's traffic in front of the net. He battles for a sight line to be able to catch up to those incoming shots, and we call that his X-ray zone ability, and it's such a huge part of his game. Puck grab by Saka. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Handles the pass. St. Petersburg's got possession while undermanned. Slides the puck to Mott. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Pasternak. Takes the feet at the back end. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the ball yeah. taken on the bench. And they score! They score on the delayed penalty, James, so that's going to negate their power play, but it looks like they didn't need it. It's players like these that know how to lead the charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. Boston's delivered an absolute dagger here late in period number two, doubling up their lead. Well, you can hear and feel the energy just elevate after that goal, James. Everyone kind of standing up. The body language speaks for itself. Now it's about igniting another fire and trying to get another one. Takes a shot. There's a save by Knight. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. And here we go. And there's the winning blow. Did he ever connect on that one, James? And now look at him on the ice. He's laboring to get up. Over to the penalty box they go, James, and they'll get some much-needed rest. Well, it's going to be five minutes. They can get some water and relax. Marchand's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Here's a chance! Scores! Another shorthanded marker! Well, one is a bonus, James, but when you're getting multiple shorthanded goals, you know that your PK is feeling it. They're attacking and playing so aggressive, and on the other side, wow, that power play needs to manage the puck better. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Bears get the break they need here late in the second. Sometimes when it gets late in a period, you have more urgency in your step, and they were certainly more aggressive in that last shift, and it showed them they attacked the net. Tierney's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is with the backhander. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Quick pass across to Tierney. Moves the puck into the attacking area. St. Petersburg's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Directed over to Frederick. Puck scooped up by Coyle. Takes the feed. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Receives the pass. Just got a piece of it to keep it out. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Scores! And I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as that the defensive structure collapses. And man, did they take advantage. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage the middle of the ice and then you get a glorious shot chance and you capitalize excellent work boston's been dominating the pace of play all night and 
Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. Been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop. And now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. Quick feed to Cheneau. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Feeds it over to Marchand. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it to Pasternak. Denied by the puck stopper. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Evans hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. The Bruins win it. Take it along the wall by Kessel. Here's a chance. Stops that one. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Here in the late going of the frame, the Bruins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And momentum on their side as they win the draw. Yeah! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's very. The Bruins continue to hammer the accelerator here. The late stages of Fury at number two. It's been attack, attack, attack all night long. Yeah, they had the puck on their stick. They've driven the net when they've had the opportunity. And, I mean, they just played well. They've been dominant tonight, James. Big hit, and that frees up possession. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Change it up! Change up! And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Zaka. Fires it! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. St. Petersburg's got the puck in their own end. Second period nearly in the books here. Tries to feed it over to Pasternak. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it across to Ayafalo. Moves it quickly over to Bach. Fans screaming for a shot before the buzzer. And that goes off a player. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next.
teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Boston's been terrific through 40 minutes of play, but you know the coach is going to be preaching that full 60 minutes to be consistent and see it right through. So they have to be defensively responsible, but when they can be on the puck, be hard on it. Olmark's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The Bruins have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Boston's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And he sends it across to Pasternak. The Bruins take it along the wing. Here's a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Murray. Moves the puck. Zaka has been buzzing out there, James, tonight. I mean, he already has a goal. This is a blowout game. A time to pad the stats. Great read with the stick. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Centering feed. And that goes off a stick and off target. McAvoy slugging the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Murray. Sends the pass over. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Poked away by Romanov. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Handles that one. You know, James, I wasn't a goaltender, so it's hard to put into words how a goaltender can find this puck. I mean, I was a defender, and I couldn't see it half the time. But one thing you know for certain, they have to be focused, they have to be dialed in, and they have to have a sense of where that puck is. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. St. Petersburg's gained the line and into the zone. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Kessel. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. And now it's grabbed by Carlo. And he slides it quickly to Greer. Change up, change up. Right through center and into the offensive zone. The Bears have it now. Throws one up to Belmar. Puck picked up by Zarnik. And it's a quick pass to Svechnikov. Fire goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. and play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face-off. Boston's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Here comes the call from the official. Marchand's going off to the box for two minutes. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Not typically that we see four on four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. To the front! Oh, so good! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to this team that he is behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. The Bruins with a four on three power play coming up. Four on three, it can be so effective. 
covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Mott's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Bruins come up with the defensive zone draw. Tries to get it to Zaka. And loses possession after a solid hit. Sends the pass down low. On the attack, moves the puck into the corner. Time to execute here on this power play. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. St. Petersburg's got it in the neutral zone. Pass in front! Picked off in front. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Long pass up ahead to center. McLeod's been extremely effective on the PK tonight, already with a shorthanded goal. He just reads and anticipates so well, you never know when he's going to turn the puck over. Shuts him down. The Bruins gain possession. The Bears take possession in the neutral zone. There's another for the hit parade. Uses the force on that hit. Skates in behind the cage. Winds up, lets it go. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. Murray's penalty is almost expired. Quick pass to Coyle. Time's up when the power play both teams back to even strength. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. St. Petersburg's looking to break out of their own end. Handles the puck. Scores! And they took it into the back of the net. on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. here inside the neutral zone. Regains possession at center. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Snaps one from the slot. Risky play but pokes it away. Scrum along the boards. Jabs the puck away. From the top of the offensive zone here. Slides it diagonally to Saka. Boston's going to play it from the corner. Unloads a shot. And that's turned aside by Knight. The Bears work it through center. Here we go, one man rush. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Puts it on net. Wide of the net. St. Petersburg's got the puck. tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Lindblom's carrying it ahead. Huge steal in his own end. Carlos, oh what a chance here! Steps inside! Beats it over! Oh they can't complete the pass. St. Petersburg gained possession along the boards. And that's broken up. Quick feed to Murray. Slip feed. Oh, just a great heads up play by Giordano. Works it across to Zarnik. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Lindblom's taking it from his own end. Taken by Kako. He grabs the puck here at the point. Solid check to slow him down. Takes the pass. 
Svechnikov staying the line and on the attack. Misses over the net. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Now a quick pass to Greer. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. McLeod's got it along the wing. And he takes the feed. Walmart's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Boston's back home for their next game, and as they kick off, a bit of a lengthy homestand. So let's see if they can try to put together a little run here in front of the home fans. Coyle's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Moves it to Cuckoo. Pass back to the point. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Puck grab by Romanov. With possession along the wall. Handles it along the blue line. Grabbed along the board by Moore. Puck scooped up by McLeod. Here we go. They're really reaching it up deep. Can't say here now in the O zone. Puts it in front. There's a hit on the play. And there's the whistle. Penalty coming up. zone and they go to work. Marshawn's been so effective at the draw tonight. He's just been out dueling his opponent and winning every matchup. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Marshawn's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Let's get the call. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Oh, 
here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Tries to clear. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Boston's analytic community probably won't like this one, but Cheryl, they still found the win. Listen, they didn't have the puck on their stick very much, but they found a way to get her done. And how did they do it? They got to the middle of the ice, and every time they drove the net, they found a way to put it in. Fun night at the rink, and for all of us here on the EA Sports team, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.